so after 8 months working as a sales consultant in uh, skill mm-hmm. i have decided to quit the job and then join analytics labs it will be difficult a difficult phase only when they are actually searching for a job mm-hmm. it will be a difficult phase but if you see uh, out of all the people who are applying who are unemployed 90% of them do not have any skills at all mm-hmm. i remember she she taught us sql power bi and uh, excel when i had doubt in sql i contacted her at 11 o'clock in the night mm. with under chandra sir i also done an internship which i forgot to mention i'm sorry so you hello everyone welcome to this particular video where we will be talking about the journey of udit who is currently working with flipkart as a data analyst so in this particular video we will ask all his efforts that he has made in making this transition possible what he learned what mistake he did so we will talk about everything and before we start this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please share this video with all your friends who is looking to make the transition into the field of data analytics so let's get started yeah hi udit how are you hi i'm good i'm good how are you i'm doing great so udit uh first first question to you is your background you mentioned you are from mechanical background but before that can you also explain me how were you in your studies what was your um, what was your love or maybe what was your feelings with maths what was what was your interaction with coding computers so you can just combine all these questions and answer this uh maths is the only subject that i loved uh, before college mm-hmm. but uh but my my marks and my marks in the entrance exams were not so good so i had to go to mechanical engineering instead of Uh, what I love, which is software, which is CSE. Mm-hmm. So I joined in mechanical engineering. I continued in there for four years, mm-hmm. and I thought that that is what I was going to be. I was going to be meant for. So mm-hmm. I just went 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 with it. But later I got replaced in sales company, which I hated the most. Mm-hmm. So after eight months working as a sales consultant in uh, Skill Vertex, mm-hmm. I have decided to quit the job and then join Analytics Labs, mm-hmm. where I have t- took the training for data analysis and machine learning mm-hmm. for uh, over eight months. Then I got placed in Flipkart, Flipkart. as a data, data analyst. Great. So, what was that change point? Because whenever I meet students, they always ask me, "Is it possible for a student of mechanical background?" or is it possible for a student who is a who is from non technical background to actually shift to a technical role and be data analyst or data scientist is it possible so how difficult for you to make this transition and at what point you decided that i will actually do it now yes uh before joining as a sales consultant i never thought that i would be a uh, data data analyst i thought i should Uh, learn java or something that is related to software engineering and then go into it mm-hmm. but uh, my fluctuation point came in when i started re- in sales in edtech we have to do some research about the courses that students study right mm-hmm. so likewise i started researching about data analysis and data science and i figured that this is what the future is all about mm-hmm. so right around that point of time uh, chat gpt was introduced and the mm-hmm. uh, boom was at that time so i des- i have decided uh, to go and pursue this only okay so, so. and uh, how difficult was it for a mechanical student to actually shift and start learning because everything for you was new mm-hmm. uh, use usage of excel usage of sql then power bi then number crunching and then python so how difficult was you as a mechanical student uh, yes it was difficult only i mean uh, in in uh, start starting we have started with excel and uh, sql which was the easiest part of it so once you get into it in through the easiest uh, part of it it will be it will gradually when the difficulty increases also you can get you can be adaptive mm. it doesn't matter whether you are a mechanical engineer or in a civil engineer or something mm. because if you see uh, some of the great tech leaders like sundar pichai is also not in software engineer to begin with mm. uh, he did in iit i think he did in chemical engineering mm. then now right now he is a ceo of it. Mm-hmm. so this it doesn't matter where, what your uh, bachelor's is mm-hmm. if you if you start with the easiest topics and then gradually increase the difficulty level you can attain it how difficult was coding for you because when you started python you haven't never coded mm-hmm. and then 
suddenly someone asked you to write a code in python so yes. how difficult was you uh, what was uh, coding in python uh it was not completely uh, alien to me i mean in college uh, since i studied in vit velour where they also prioritize for even core students also they prioritize uh, teaching python and uh, mm. c c++ mm-hmm. but uh, back then i wasn't i was only looking forward to pass the examination so i didn't give much concentration to it so i have little knowledge about it but i do not have the complete overall knowledge mm-hmm. i utilized that uh, basic knowledge and then uh, upgraded it adding more difficulty to what i know and then understanding and then uh, learning everything great basically uh, you were learning it uh slowly and gradually and it was yes. helping yes okay how was the uh the mentorship that you get over here how helpful it was uh basically we might be thinking that faculty faculty members or the teachers who will mentors who will be teaching us over here mm. most people think that they would not uh, they would not be available of all the times but i remember uh the i do not uh, know the faculty name but uh, she she taught us sql power bi and uh, excel when i had doubt in sql i contacted her at 11 o'clock in the night hmm. so she immediately replied to me on whatsapp and she has given me answers because uh, we have we have to submit the uh, test or we we have to submit the case studies on time mm. so before day while submitting the case studies i asked her a doubt and she immediately replied so this is the kind of mentorship that we get even in the during the nights also we will get uh, we you can just contact them you can just take their number and uh, ask ask questions to them so the mentors have no problem with contacting them at any point of time great now uh when you were in the process of getting interviewed in uh, flipkart um how easy was or how difficult it was to crack flipkart and was the uh, was the teaching or was the mentorship that was provided by analytics lab was it something that came came out uh, helpful during that particular interview procedure yes yes uh for me along with these uh, classes i have also joined uh, i with under chandra sir i have also done an internship which i forgot to mention i'm sorry so during that internship chandra sir has given us lot of inputs or uh, as in how to crack an interview mm. and what kind of questions can be asked in an interview we, whenever there is an opportunity to mention that there is this question can be asked in an interview he used to say that mm. so it helped me it helped me a lot mm. because over the over the course of 8 months i been they have prepared as uh, occasionally they have prepared as that this kind of questions can be can be asked in an interview mm. so that actually helped me and uh, the in flipkart also the process was like uh, three interview process mm. first one was first and second was uh, completely technical and third one was mm. uh, hr level mm. all the questions all the knowledge that i gained over here were actually helpful in both both the kind of interviews great great uh, just last few questions as a student who is from mechanical background what suggestions you want to give to those who are from non tech and are worried about making this transition because they feel market is not accepting them so what is your suggestion to them initially like well, i think it it will be it will be difficult a difficult phase only when they are actually searching for a job mm. it will be a difficult phase but when the things start work out i mean if you hit if you keep on uh, applying for the companies they it will at least if if you apply for 100 companies at least five companies will uh, revert back to us so consistently without losing patience applying for the companies is a key for it and whether you crack it or not just gaining the experience is the first thing primary thing that you need to look forward to mm. cracking the interview can uh, can come later mm. at the later part mm-hmm. so you need to gain the experience how the interviews uh, happen mm-hmm. so if you have the right mentors you can you can just uh, set up an mock interviews kind of thing or you can gain the experience in that way uh, technical skills and second thing uh, technical gaining the technical skills is most important because if you see uh, out of all the people who are applying who are unemployed 90% of them do not have any skills at all mm. they pro- they probably know sql or uh, power bi mm. but they may not know the adva- uh, advanced uh, tools like python programming or machine learning or scikit or any libraries that is in python programming mm-hmm. 
so if you keep on exploring if you keep on uh, trying new things that is out there then that will be helpful great great that was a great suggestion of that so one final last question um after going through the entire program and after um getting selected and getting a uh, the final transition that everyone dream of because it is flip card it's not a small thing so in the entire course and in the entire experience that you gain from an altix lab uh what will be just those three words that you will conclude the entire journey with i think it is uh, emotional at the end mm. it is hard but it is uh, rewarding as well so emotional emotional hard hard and but rewarding rewarding great so that was great discussion with you udit and i hope those who are listening to us if you share a similar background like udit i hope some of your doubts might have gone cleared and if you have any questions related to this discussion if you have any question related to udit or if you want to ask any question to udit please feel free to drop your comments or drop your questions on the comment section we will get it answered and for more such amazing conversations and uh, videos keep following analytics lab